Welcome to the how-to video for dilutions. A dilution is just making a solution of lower concentration from those of higher concentration. So for example, in our first volumetric flask, we see that we have a solution which is initially one molar. So this is a one molar stock solution. We are now going to take 25 milliliters out of that and put it into a new flask. So as we take those 25 mils out, we put it into this new volumetric flask. And then we're just going to fill up this volumetric flask with water up to the line. And so that's what we do. And we've now made a diluted solution. We still have a stock solution as well. So a dilution is just making a solution of lower concentration from those of higher concentration. This resulted in a new diluted solution of 0.1 molar because we diluted it. We took 25 milliliters into a 250 milliliters total, which means we diluted by tenfold. So we went from 1 molar to 0.1 molar. So anytime we're looking for the molarity of the new solution, it's really dependent on the number of moles and the volume of the final diluted solution. One way that we can solve dilution problems is really using this equation, which is molarity of solution 1 times volume of solution 1, which is equal to molarity of solution 2 times volume 2. I like to think about this as being the stock solution. This is the diluted solution. However, I have to tell you that using this equation is problematic if it's not a dilution problem. The only time you can use this is when you see the word dilution. If you don't see the word dilution, then it's probably some kind of titration problem, and if you use this equation, you're gonna end up with the wrong answer. Another way that you could solve this to avoid that complication is really going through these two steps. First, calculate the moles of the solute in the concentrated solution. So whatever the concentrated solution is, so we'll say this is our stock, we take that molarity, okay, and we know the volume, so we can use the volume, and in that case, we can calculate the moles of the stock solution. Secondly, then we could look at the diluted solution and use the molarity, okay, using the same number of moles, and the volume of the diluted solution, because now we could solve for molarity using the moles of the stock solution divided by the volume of the diluted solution, which is now going to give us the molarity of our diluted solution. That concludes how to for dilutions.